Hey, this is Mike Moo here. We're taking a look at something that you always kind of ask yourself, why didn't someone already do this? Well, it took a little while, but Tenergy finally created the AA rechargeable lithium ion battery. Uh, this will take exactly, it's basically the exact same size and voltage as a standard AA uh, battery, alkaline battery. Not your nickel metal hydride, which of course has lower voltage rating than the standard 1.5 volts that a lot of electronics were used to uh, be designed for. So this is a constant 1.5 volts um, and if you compare this to maybe the Eneloops, Eneloops maybe run at 1.25 volts. This is up to 1.5. It takes 1 and 1.8 hours to charge. It has a thousand cycles of charging, 18 grams of weight, and 2,775 rated milliwatt hours. Now this isn't going to be a review, it's just going to show you and tell you a little bit more about the details of this there is one problem with this though, is that you need to use their, uh, you need to use a, of course, a specialized rechargeable lithium ion battery charger, which is included in the package here. Okay, I'll have a link and details down below if you're interested in trying one of these out yourself. And then the other issue is then I saw these guys over at the Consumer Electronics Show uh, for 2019 and I asked them, I, I said, well, if you can't check the voltage, how come or how can you tell whether or not the battery is going to run low? And you know, I don't think the engineers ever really got back to us about that. So you're kind of on, you just really don't exactly know how much is left because traditionally when we're looking at these AA battery packs, we check the voltage to see how much is left. With this, you don't really know. So you really want to just start out with a fresh pair, uh, fresh set, sorry, fresh set, depending on what you're going to be using it for. So I'm going to be primarily using this for, of course, uh, hot shoe flashes and, you know, the ones that typically hold the AA batteries. But there are ones that hold lithium ion, so this is a great way to kind of update your current flash and, uh, and, and speed of recycle time, full flash power recycle time, without having to upgrade to a whole new different uh, type of system. Um, so it'll breathe some fresh life. Also, if you have some battery grips that were made for Canon, for instance, you can use AA batteries and also get a much better power rating from it, theoretically anyways. So we'll find out more about this as I use this uh, more in testing. Looks like it comes in this whole uh, case slash charger already, which is kind of nice. There's a little opening here and there looks like some plastic, uh, plastic protective uh, covering that I can remove so that I can go and plug in the micro USB uh, adapter cable in here to charge. So it looks like it's pretty much it. As you can see, it pretty much is, is the exact same size. I want to say this is about approximately the same weight of most um, we'll call them slash, uh, heavy duty double A alkaline batteries and it, it actually feels like a cheaper battery because the density is not as dense as uh, let's say Eneloops at least that's the way it feels in the hands uh, so that's about it um, I gotta say it's nice to have the case but this feels kinda flimsy I don't know why uh, they didn't try to make this a little bit more a uh, little bit more sturdier because this I'm, I'm gonna lose the case I'll put it that way. There's a tiny, teeny, tiny little user manual that probably just tells you about certain ratings, about the uh, the charge times, and also the um, the rated capacity, and whether or not things are going to go ahead and charge complete. So, basically, you can't use this charger with anything other than these type of batteries, or the 10 volts by itself. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, check back for an update on the details of this a little bit later. I'm definitely going to put it through some more use before I um, give a full on solid review. Please like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next video. Thank you.